Bassy's Learning Land. Hey friends, it's Bassy from Bassy's Learning Land. Whoa, take a look at this. Today we get to learn about all these fruits and the colors and the color words. That looks so exciting. All right, before we get into that, don't forget, if you like this video or any of our learning and videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or you're more than welcome to subscribe. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to explore the colors of these fruits and the names of these fruits. And then once we do so, we're going to get that crayon and we're going to put it on our color chart. I think we can do it. Let's start. All right. So the first color we're going to have is this one. Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color blue. That's the color word, blue. Do you know any fruit that is blue? Exactly, like a blueberry. So now what we get to do is find this color on our color chart. <gasps> I found it. We found it together as a team. It's right here. Way to go. So let's start with our next color. Our next color, and most importantly, fruit, is going to be this one. Hmm. It's kind of like an oval. Do you know what this fruit is called? Fantastic. It's a mango. Mangoes are the color orange. Way to go. And this is the color word orange. <gasps> but let's turn this around. <gasps> There's a hole! Oof, let's see why there's a hole later on in a little bit. So we have our orange crayon. We also now have our color chart. Where can we put the orange crayon? <gasps> well, right here, of course. Here. Whoa! We got one, two of the crayons in the correct spots. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And crayons we'll learn about. So we have two. One, two crayons. All right. Next up, we have this fruit. Do you know what this fruit is called? Yeah, it's a pineapple. Yeah, you can see that it's mostly which color? Yellow with a little bit of green, but let's focus on the yellow color. It's a yellow pineapple. There we go. Let's see. Let's turn this one around. Oh, there's a hole here, too. Hmm. Maybe we could fix that later. All right. We have our yellow crayon. Where can we put it? Oh, right here. Look, this matches that crayon. We have one, two, three colors we got. Well done. All right. Let's go to our next fruit. We have a mango, pineapple. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it's mostly the color. Yeah, it's the color purple, isn't it? Mm hmm. And it has like little pockets of juice inside, and it has teeny tiny seeds inside. Do you know what this is called? Mm, it's a tricky one. It's a pomegranate. Let's turn it around. Oh! <gasps> Someone took a bite out of that one, too. Okay, but we do have our purple crayon. All right, so let's figure it out. Let's see. Do you think it goes on this column? No, it's not quite there. Mm -hmm. What about on this column? Yeah, it is on this side. Oh, it's the first one on that side. Whoa, we have one, two, three, four colors. We found orange, yellow, blue, and purple. Hmm, we're doing fantastic. Let's go back to this side. Let's see what's here. <gasps> oh, look, it almost looks like this one has little triangles, but it is a circular shape. Hmm, what do you think this is called? Yeah, it looks like a lime, I agree. And limes are the color green take a look at that yeah and there's dark green and light green and even lighter green inside hmm now let's see did someone <gasps> someone got hungry too they left a hole all right so we're gonna think where can we place this green crayon oh this seems to match let's put it here so we found orange yellow green blue purple one two, three, four, 
five different colors. Well done. Oof, we're gonna make a jump to this one. Wow, look at that. Oh, it looks like the outside of the fruit is a color and inside it is different shades of green. We know this color now, but let's focus on the outside color. What is that outside color? Right, it's brown. Now let's think about what fruit has a green inside and a brown outside. It's a kiwi, of course. Oh, and look, you only eat the inside, not the outside. Oof. All right, let's leave it right here. Let's leave the kiwi there. And let's try to find where this brown crayon goes. Oh, it's not on this column. Let's look here. <gasps> here it is. Look, let's place it right there. So it seems like we found orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and brown. We found one, two, three, four, five, six different crayons. We are just doing fantastic. Let's go to this one. <gasps> and it looks like these last fruits have two colors to them. Mm, let's look at this one. All right. So this one we know is already green. We know the green color, but there's two other colors let's focus on for this one. This in the middle is the color red. It's red in the middle. Mm -hmm. And that's the part of the fruit we usually really enjoy. Then it has these little seeds that are black. Yes, they're the color black. And the fruit that we eat, the flesh, is red. Hmm. So now I wonder, what's green on the outside? We eat the red flesh, and then it has black seeds. Of course! It's a watermelon! <gasps> and someone took a big bite of that watermelon. But let's focus on our crayons. Let's first find the home for the red crayon. <gasps> and just like that, it's the first one we tried and compared it to. Here we go. There's the red crayon. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, that's it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But wait, we're not done. Remember, the watermelon fruit had two colors. It also had the black crayon. So, ooh, take a look. We finished this whole side. So this crayon must be on this side. Hmm. Oh, look at this. These two are quite similar, but it seems like this one's much darker. This is the black crayon. There you go. So we found red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. We're missing one, two, two crayons, but we found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crayons. The way to go. Oh, last but not least, we have this fruit. Oh, this looks interesting. Mm hmm. This fruit, we're also going to focus on two different colors. It has a bit of green, but we know this color. The middle part, mm-hmm, this fruit usually has the middle part that is gray in color. Yes, gray color. And then the outside, along with the green, it also has pink color. Yeah, it's pink and gray. Do you know what this fruit is called? <gasps> yes can either be called a dragon fruit or it can be called a pitaya, depending where it is. And if I turn around, whoa, somebody ate it. My goodness, someone's hungry. So let's start with our first color, the color gray. We're going to try to find its spot here in our chart, of course. So let's see where we could find it. We did say that this side is full. And mm, not quite here. And this is the other one that's not full yet. Oh, let's put it here. Mm -hmm. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, gray, and black. Oh, nice. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa. And let's do this crayon. This is the color pink. It's a pink crayon. Not here. Oh, of course, the only place that is left is here. 
for the pink crayon. And now, friends, we did a fantastic job. We found the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, brown, gray, and black crayon spot. Way to go. That means we learned about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors. Yay! Oh, I think something's happening. We're going to play a game. Oh, well, look, this is going to be the game that we get to play. There is a spoon and there, oh, it seems like these are the missing parts of the fruits. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test our knowledge of our colors and we're going to put these, the flesh of the fruit back into the fruit. All right, so we're going to count three stirs and we'll put it back. Are you ready? One, two, three. All right, we're gonna pick this one. <gasps> what color is this? Yeah, it's the color gray. Do you know where it should go? To which fruit? Yeah, the pataya or the dragon fruit. We're gonna put it right there. It is the color gray. All right, let's spin another two times. One, two. But oh, wait, didn't we say we we're going to count to three? So what's the number after two? Three. There we go. All right, let's pick. Hmm. What's this color? It's the color yellow, of course. Where should this yellow ball go? Oh, it matches the pineapple. Let's put the yellow ball inside of the the pineapple. All right, let's count to three. One, two, three stirs. Ooh, wow, what color is that? Mm-hmm, it's a red ball. Where should we put the red ball? Oh, but of course, it should go here with the pomegranate. We should put it inside of the pomegranate. All right, let's spin again. One, two, three. Hmm? Oh, what color is that? Yeah, it's the brown color. This brown ball should go where? Hmm. Of course, right here. Oh, with the kiwi. Although the kiwi does not have a brown middle, it has a green middle. We're just going to put it here because we did learn the brown color from the outside of the kiwi. So let's put it there. All right, we're going to turn it three times. We have one, two, three balls left. One stir, two stirs, and three stirs. <gasps> this is our next color. This is the color orange nice work where can the orange ball go it can go inside of the mango there it is that looks fantastic we have two left let's take them for a spin one two and three all right whoa look at the one that we have here what color is that Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one kind of looks pink. Now, we did say that inside of this fruit is red, but for the purpose of practicing our colors, let's say that this is going to be pink. Where can we put this pink sphere? Yeah, how about we try to put it here in the water for now? All right, we have one more sphere left. Let's spin one two and three we're gonna scoop it up and it's the color green nice and i think it goes of course where there's only one spot left it's green and it goes with the green line and take a look we finished so just to review we learned the green color for the lime we learned orange for the mango an orange mango we also have the yellow color for the pineapple, the yellow pineapple. We have the red and the purple colored pomegranate. Yeah, it's a red and purple pomegranate. Here we have a kiwi. 
and the outside color of the kiwi is brown. So we have a brown kiwi. Ooh, here we have two different colors. We have a gray and pink dragon fruit, or you could say a gray and pink pitaya. Here we also learn the color red and black. So here we have a red and black watermelon. Last but not least, we said this one already, but let's say it in a sentence. There is a green line. If you like this adventure, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Or if you would like to join more of our adventures, you're always welcome to subscribe. See you soon. Bye. See ya soon.